All right, Shalom, brothers. Shalom. All praise goes to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakodash. The one is goes into the apostles and elders, a great millstone that have taught us the truth and much love and peace and blessings goes out to all of you hopeful elect brothers that are teaching the word of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. So, I want to do this lesson just like a short walk and talk lesson based upon the scripture I was reading. In the book of Psalms, I think it's Psalms 94. Basically, when the when King David had written this, he said, just roughly paraphrase it, in the multitude of my thoughts, thy comforts delight my soul. So <clears throat> a, 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 a part of what I honed in on is uh, the part where it said delight. And if you look it up in the Hebrew, the word goes into basically to make blind, to smear over. It, in essence, it, it means to, to blind because you're, you're smearing over someone's sight in there when they're, um, when somebody becomes blind, right? But um, it also just means to, to delight in, to take joy, to take pleasure in the sense of smearing over because <clears throat> when you are find yourself in uh, being amused or entertained the said purpose of that is to smear over the hell that you catch to um, basically get your mind off the troubles that happen and that's exactly what the Heavenly Father Heavenly Father's Word does you know it, it somewhat makes us blind or it, 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 it smears over the hell that we catch it gives it balance it gives it a it gives it a purpose. It gives you it gives you delight and joy knowing that you know Yahweh Shimi Shai is coming with a glorious kingdom. That the hell we catch is for a reason. And that we have a consolation which is Yahweh Shai's sacrifice. His sacrifice on the cross in which he died for us made it to where we can we have a pathway to entering into the kingdom and these those are words of comfort even going back understanding from base level knowing you're israelite you thought in the world you thought you were a black person being black that didn't come with a heritage that didn't come with a future being black in america <laughs> your future are so-called black so-called hispanic so-called latino right being of that ilk, your future ain't certain. But knowing you're an Israelite, knowing you are of the 12 tribes of Israel, you understand what? Your destiny. You understand your past. You understand your present. And you understand the future. And with that comes a certain level of ease. Even though we're not at ease completely, but compared to the people of the world now at this point, we are because they're, they're in, in a lot of uncertainty right now regarding the jab. Like there was this one video I was watching to where this woman, she was crying on camera because she was going to get fired from her hospital job because they required the, the thing, the shot, which is the hot topic right now, which all the news media are talking about, getting jabbed up. She was crying. So are we at ease compared to these people? Yes. But we we um, understand we have gravity about the situation because we know we're about to enter into a time of great trouble. But the understanding gives you that light at the end of the tunnel. That gives you that, um, that delight. Because like the scriptures say, and like thy comforts delight my soul. I mean, this should, this should, this truth, it should uplift you. You know, understanding, you know, what's to come. That Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is the, the creator of the universe. That's that's our God. That's the God of the Israelites. And he's dealing with us. Out of all people, he chose us. Out of all people, he gave his word unto Jacob and his statutes and his. Righteous judgments. You know what I'm saying? You have to sometimes meditate on how how 
righteous the kingdom is going to be. You know, how, how glorious the, Lord, the Lord's laws really are. To love your neighbor as yourself. When you look around, people are in the opposite spirit. There's no love here. People are anxious and bugged out. They're not talk. Nobody's talking to one another. You know what I mean? Everybody wants to be on their phones. They ain't socializing. People forming these tight knit groups. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's no sense, real sense of community in this place anymore, in this society, this kingdom. But the thing that 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 gives us delight, that delights our soul, we got hey, we got a brotherhood. We got a brotherhood. We have a mission. We have a purpose, and we have something that we should that we are to focus on. You know, which is the word. You know, but uh, I mean, pretty much, that's that's what I that's what I got on it because. Also in that scripture, it says in the multitude of our thoughts, because the thing about the way we think, we have thoughts really, really the, 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 the this is another point that hit me through the spirit, really where your anxiety or your, your, you know, being at, not at ease, that irritation that we constantly deal with, that's always in the mind. It always happens in our thoughts. You may be thinking, damn, I'm overweight. I'm too fat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I'm not big enough. I need a new wardrobe. Uh, my car about to break down. I miss, I'm behind on payments, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, my woman. Things going on with the children. All this shit, right? All these things in his life. They can drag and weigh on the spirit, on the soul. These thoughts, man. On down to the things that we physically can perceive, like, you know, situations that happen to us. Then, you know, right after the situation happens, you get to thinking hard, thinking about it, thinking about all the troubles and damn a X, Y, and Z. I got to do this tomorrow. I got to wake up and do this and do that. And it's, it's hell, man. It's, it's hell. But... Like that song said, by comforts, delight my soul. It gives us upliftment and joy. You know, the understanding of the Heavenly Father, the understanding of the chariots, which Esau is talking about now at an all time high. You know what I mean? We got understanding that those are the angels, the heavenly hosts, you know? That are going to deliver Israel after the time of our tr trouble, after the time of Jacob's trouble. You know, so all praise goes to Yahweh Shimon Shai and Shalom.